NASA has released photos, videos, and audio recordings of its Apollo missions. We copy you down, Eagle. So there's little left about these missions that we don't already know, except for one mystery that's been hiding in plain sight for decades. Roger. One of NASA's Apollo lunar modules may be missing. That's right, missing. And not even NASA seems to know where it is. Engines on five, four, three, two. All engines running. Where is Lunar Module 14? What state was it in? Uh, does anybody have it? Does anybody know where it's at? From 1962 to 1970, NASA commissioned Grumman Aircraft to build 15 space-worthy lunar modules for its Apollo program. Each one was labeled Lunar Modules 1 through 15 and cost around $150 million to make, or about $1.1 billion today. Charlie Brown was selected by the astronauts as the code name for the Apollo 10 command module. And his friend Snoopy was the call sign for the lunar module. NASA launched 10 of these lunar landers into space. Six of them landed on the surface of the moon and brought the astronauts back. Other four were used for uh, practices and dry runs of future missions. And there were five that were left on the ground. Three of those five that never went to space, lunar modules 2, 9, and 13, are in museums which leaves us with LM-14 and 15. Lunar Module 15 was another lunar lander that was being built for Apollo 20, which of course never happened. They turned it into scrap metal. So that leaves us with one lunar lander, LM-14. On the Smithsonian's website, there's a page listing the, the lunar landers and all of their fates. Lunar Module 15 is listed as scrapped, but if you go up one row and you look at Lunar Module 14, it says, not used. What that means, we don't know, and that's what started this adventure in the first place. To be clear, it is not easy to hide one of these landers. Once complete, they're the size of a small house and weigh about 35,000 pounds. Now, when we started looking into Lunar Module 14, things were a little weird. The documents that we had access to said incomplete or not used. It didn't say anything about it being scrapped. It didn't say it was in any institution or museum. And so we started digging into this. NASA and the Smithsonian didn't have evidence to its whereabouts. The Cradle of Aviation Museum didn't know. And even historians at Northrop Grumman, the original manufacturers of the lunar modules, were stumped. But one of the experts that we talked to said, hey, I think it's at the uh, Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. We looked into that and it was not it. It was a early prototype from uh, the Apollo program, uh, a lunar module that was never supposed to fly into space. And then we got a lead, sort of. There was a document from March 1978 uh, that is a disposition or a list of everything in the Apollo program, what it was, what, what its code number was, and where it's located. And that document is missing page number nine, which is the page that describes where Lunar Module 14 would be located or what happened to it, if anything. Yeah, it sounds exactly like some sort of Hollywood spy thriller, but this actually happened. Nobody could find this document. Even one of NASA's historians looked for us and couldn't locate it. And the same went for the National Archives. We finally got some clue as to what happened to it, from University of Houston Space Archive. Hi, this is uh, Dave Mosher with Business Insider. Is this Gene? Hi, yes it is. Hi, Dave. Hi. Um, so I heard you found page nine of that document. C can, you, can you read it to me? What, tell me what it says. Next to LM14, it says mission canceled. Mission canceled. And then is there anything else that it says? The next column says remarks. It says deleted from program. Deleted from program. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't say where it went or or what happened to it. N no, it does not. Okay. So we were at a dead end. And to be fair, this wouldn't be the first time a moon lander has been lost to history. In 1969, the lunar lander for Apollo 10 was ejected into space as part of a dry run for Apollo 11. Ground contact was maintained with the ascent stage until its batteries were depleted some 12 hours later. NASA didn't track the lander at the time, so it was missing, floating somewhere in space for decades. 
Until in 2019, a group of enthusiasts from the UK said they were pretty sure they found where it was floating in space. So if those guys could find a lost lunar module in the vast expanse of space, why does nobody know where a moon lander on Earth has gone? Okay, this has got to be the greatest sight ever. So we had pretty much given up on uncovering the truth. That was until we got a hold of Paul Fiel a few weeks later. He's obsessed with these lunar landers. In fact, he worked with the Cradle of Aviation Museum to retrofit LM-13 into a Apollo-style landing site within the museum. So here's what he had to say about our grand missing lunar lander mystery. 14 actually never really got built. I'm not gonna bet my son's life, but I'll bet a lot of money that there's not a scrap of LEM-14 left. Of course, that would explain why there's no photos of it. The really revealing thing that Paul showed us was this progress chart from Grumman of the lunar landers that were under construction before, right before NASA canceled the entire program. And it shows that LM-14 was about one to 5% complete based on Fiel's analysis. So the farthest that technicians at Grumman got was basically cutting out all of these pieces of metal and starting to assemble them, weld them together before NASA canceled the program. We also spoke to two other spaceflight history experts, and they also think that LM-14 was scrapped, but they're not entirely certain of that. I'm gonna say that they would have said, look, we got a bunch of F-14s, we're just starting to come off the line here, this is what's the future for Grumman, we need all the metal that we can get, this is some lovely 2024 aluminum, 7075 structural aluminum, can we use that on uh, F-14s? Sure. So LM-14's Frankenstein pieces maybe did fly, in a way and perhaps they're in an aviation museum right now as part of a jet. In this strange metallic bird rides the ancient and endless dream of all mankind. But we may never know for sure. I can't guarantee that, you know, some guy didn't just grab it off the, uh, the lot and it's now sitting in his uh, basement or up in an attic that his grandkids have no idea what the hell it is. Who knows? <laughs> 